Hello and welcome to another IC3D tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be taking you through creating this bottle inside of IC3D. And then we're going to take it a step further and I want to show you how to create this ribbed screw area on the top here so we can screw in a cap. Let's get started. The first thing for this project is we're actually going to be starting in Illustrator. Um, now, this could be any application that can export a DXF, that's the <clears throat> CAD interchange file. So don't forget that. Now from here, I'm going to go ahead and lock down my image. And what we're working on is just to trace out this image as we see it. So very easy with our pen tool. Now we're going to start from the center and we're only doing half of this bottle, meaning we're only going to uh, make half. The left half will be perfect for what we need. And of course we're trying to get this as accurate as possible. Once you've drawn your shape out, what you'll want to do is go ahead and delete everything but the line you just made and export this line, making sure it is to scale. So if your bottle is going to be, again, just to measure it really quick, 119 millimeters tall, make sure that uh, it is in fact 119 millimeters or inches, again, whatever unit you have uh, when you export, you want to take note of that as well. In Illustrator, you want to go up to File, Export, Export As, and we're going to be saving this as a DXF, and then go ahead and hit Export. Again, making sure you remember what your artwork scale was, the scale 1 to 1, and as well, the uh, unit that you are using. Hit OK once ready. And we can go ahead and open up IC3D. From IC3D, we're actually going to be using our 2D spinner tool found in the template library. From IC3D, you're going to want to head down to the template library and grab the 2D spinner tool. Drag that into the scene, as this tool is going to be able to import that DXF and spin the bottle, allowing us to uh, quickly create our product. So selecting Import Data. And then we're just going to want to find where we added. So here's my shrink bottle. And then hit open. This is where we want to make sure, again, our measurements are matching. So if you export it in, in millimeters, you want to make sure you import as well in millimeters. And if you export in inches, you want to import in inches. So whatever uh, unit you're using, make sure to match it. Hit continue. And as you can see, the 2D spinner tool has completely taken care of this bottle for us. Now, one last thing before we add this to the scene. I'm going to be creating a threaded section right up here. So what we actually want to do is call that section out so IC3D knows we want a separate artboard for this section here. Simply select the base point and then select our split mesh and then select the top point right before, before our curve, and again, split. Once you've got the area just between, should be a straight line, that's where we want to stop. As this is going to create a separate artboard for this section here, and that will allow us to add in our threaded section. So, hit Update Preview to make sure everything looks good. And then once you're happy, go ahead and hit Add Model to Scene. A Mesh Split Options window should open. This window will have our artboard selection, meaning this is where we can actually assign that artboard for the midsection. So section number two, this little red area here, 
And what we're going to want to do is just add a label for this section. This is going to allow us to connect to Illustrator and add a threaded line that we're going to use to create the threads. Hit OK. And once that gets added to the scene, you're going to notice again in here, we have a spinner label mesh. So before anything, though, I'm going to head to my material library, the printed card section, and I'm going to use a matte paper. And as you can see here as well, I now have three separate meshes. This is because we split our mesh inside of the 2D spinner tool before adding it into our scene. Now from here, we are all done. That is how quick and easy the 2D Spinner tool can be for creation of your products. Stay tuned for part two, where we take that threaded section, and then we actually use an embossing and a spot color to create those threads.